Hey gang, Dan here, marginallyclever.com, and I'd like to show you the. I was asked by a member in our Discord channel to show you how to make a recording of a virtual robot arm that could later be played back on the real thing. So why it's easy to do it in Robot Overlord, and, and then why you want to use it with your robot arms. I think that all sort of presents itself at the same time. So if you're new to this, hello world. Um, this is version three. It's about a month old. Uh, I've loaded up a scene here. I have a robot arm that has all kinds of components. If you're familiar with Unity or with Godot, then you're familiar with the nodes. I have a node here that is a limb. Uh, let's try that again. That is a limb with forward and inverse kinematics. I can I can pull like this and I can roll the middle mouse button to do stuff. Um, great. So then I have a Marlin robot arm. This translates the position, the state of an arm into Marlin, which is a, a flavor of G-code uh, that's common on 3D printers. Uh, you could also build one for yourself that uh, someone will write one that does GRBL to robot arm um, and so on. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect it to this editor window that I have down here, right? Uh, this editor window, let me put that back. Uh, if you're sensitive to flickering, I apologize. Um, um, so I've put the Marlin robot arm, I've connected it here, and I can be in either play, record or play mode, so I'm going to set to record. I'm going to go to my solver. Now you saw before when I was moving the joints, that was forward kinematics. I move the shoulder, I see where the fingertip goes. With the limb solver, I get the target position. Now here's my target at the moment. I'm going to take that target, and I'm going to move it right to the, right to the fingertip. Okay, so my... Finger, that's my, the, the fingertip is, uh, the solver tries to move the fingertip to your uh, requested position. And if I, this is like the rubber band strength. So here it is at zero, and here it is at, at not zero. Uh, it, so if I hit start recording, because I'm watching the arm, it's getting the position of the six motors in the arm all the time. At the interval right now is once a second. If I then move this some amount, and um, and continue that while I'm recording, you can see the positions are being written to the, the document down there. So in Marlin G code flavor. So I can then take this code, save it, and then run that directly on the robot, or I can edit it and so on. So now I'm gonna try and get this a little bit lower down and then maybe move it to the side some and maybe bring it out a bit. And even, you know what, I don't want to rotate it in the world, I want to rotate it in the local space where, right? Um, and so my next goal is to put like all these screws, put them in the yellow tray and then pick them up and put them down. But that's coming, that's in another version. But right now, I just want to show you how easy it was to move that arm. And now I can stop this. Um, again, if you're familiar with the dot, Godot, you'll, you'll know all the buttons for flying around. Um, so I go back to the top of my document. I put the cursor at the start of the document. I switch to play. I turn my rubber band off because these two tools can fight each other. And then I hit start. And once a second, remember there was a delay at the start where I was talking. So here, I will stop this. I will edit this document down a smidge, right? And then I will start again. And once a second, along the path that we saw before, it will repeat those motions. So if you want to edit the document, change the position a little bit, and then play it again and see how it goes, you can do that. If you want to put the cursor in the middle of the document, play it at that position, and then hit record and add a new section, you can do that too. Um, so there's a lot of power here, there's a lot of, we haven't taken away any of your abilities and we also haven't built a really complicated like behavior tree or uh, huge amounts of code. We've tried to keep it as simple as possible uh, so that it supports hopefully everybody with whatever kind of robot arm you're gonna make. Um, as a, so then one of my future goals now, while I've still got your attention in this plays, is to get a USB camera, which I already have, get a USB camera, view and put that 
Uh, it won't play because I am recording this currently through OBS and they don't play nice together. But I want to get that USB camera to look at the parts in the tray and then teach the robot to pick up the parts on its own. Uh, if any of that sounds like your kind of jam, then um, hit me up on the Discord, um, um, chat to me on GitHub. Let's work together to make uh, robots happen for everybody. Again, this is my name is Dan. Uh, my company is marginallyclever.com. We make uh, a variety of robots, and we'd love to work with you to do other cool robot stuff. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, and I will see you next time.